welcome to Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Today is August 21st, 2019, and we are working on our Happy Camper Stitch Along. So this is Happy Camper. It's a beautiful design by Lori Holt, and it's published by It's so Emma, which is our company. And what's wonderful about this is you can finish this. If you're just going to finish this, it'll fit in a standard 8x10 frame, or you can finish it in something like this that you can just get at Hobby Lobby. So I think um, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you real quick the chart we have, which is gonna show us our weekly progress. So Lily's gonna pop up the little chart, and so that's gonna show you week one is the top left, which is what we did last week. Week two is going to be the next week, and then I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Next week we're gonna be doing the truck. So I think I can go ahead and get stitching. We have a ton of stuff. Um, so I. Yeah. Oh, we got a stuck on the lens. It's all good. Okay. So I'm just going to start stitching. It's going to be a little bit harder since... Um, I might need you to turn a little bit more towards me on your left. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to stitch and talk. So I have found that working with the 25 count Lugana is super easy. I'm just putting my finger under here, right under my stitches, and I'm just traveling up. And so I'll show you what I've done. So this is what I've done so far. So you can see the trees. And I'm just going to do the green all the way across and then the flowers. And one thing that I am going to be doing is since week one and week two are super easy, but week three and week four are much harder. I'm going to go ahead and cheat this week and just put a tiny bit of time into week three and a tiny bit of time into week four so that I don't get overwhelmed on week three and week four. And it's a stitch along. You can do it at whatever pace you want. I'm just afraid that if I don't do a little bit this weekend on week three and four, I'm going to get behind. And this, uh, I'm stitching on 25 count Lugana by Lori Holt, and I just did stitch wrong. It's really soft and easy to use. And um, on the Lugana, there is a modeled side, which is this side, and then there's a flat side, which is much lighter and doesn't have any modeling. So it gives you a little bit of freedom. And I'm stitching in hand, and I am just kind of trying to go a little bit fast. I'm trying to do this like I really do this at home to show you that you can go really fast. I'm using the Pat Carson size 26 needles. The Bowen 26 also work great. The Pat Carson are easier to thread, thread your needle. So. So I'm able to go really fast. Um, so how far have you guys gotten? Have y'all gotten the first row done? Or I'd love to see where all of you guys are at. I've seen a lot of people stitching. And so I've kind of got this tree a little bit memorized. I'm hoping that I'm on the right. I'm gonna do the tree. I'm hoping that I've got this right. So what questions do you guys have for me on stitching with 25 count? Yeah, well, we got a few here. Uh, the first one is from Sherry Smart. She says, any luck in finding a good magnifier? I did. Um, I'm going to talk about that next week. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Yeah, I am getting new glasses today. Woo! Well, I'm getting new um, prescriptions. And then I'm going to go over to Costco and try to get them filled. And Costco takes about a week. So I'm hoping, yeah, so I'm going to get my new glasses. Yay. I know I'm excited because Lily, I can't see the screen, so <laughs> Lily knows I can't see the screen. Um, but yes, I'm going to talk about magnifiers next week a little bit, and I've got two of them. And I use one in my living room and one in my bedroom. The one in my bedroom has to be plugged in, so I can't put that in my living room because I don't have one of those, like, I don't have, like, in the middle of the room a little place to plug in. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off and start again. 
Right. The next question is from Jill Drulard. Uh, I hope I said that right. Is that one strand of floss doubled? Yes, okay. So what I do is I'm taking one strand. On 25 count Lugana, you can stitch with three strands or two strands. Um, I'm doing two, so I go ahead and put my two ends together, thread my needle, and then I'm going to do the loop method. And it keeps my back neater. And I don't think that that's right, so I'm going to start again. That is not in the right hole. Start on Lugana. I would say the hardest part is really getting that first stitch. A lot of times I go over three stitches on that first stitch. And of course, when I'm on camera, of course, I'm going to always do that because that's <laughs> the way it goes, right? Uh, question from. Sharon Shergold, she says, good morning, can't get used to that stitching method. Is it easier using Lugana? Um, I think it is, but it's very soft Lugana. I think, um, I think it's okay if you don't get used to it. Just use a Q-snap. I don't, I think that you should just do whatever. I don't think that there's any, um, I don't think there's any right way or wrong way to do anything. Um, I'm doing it because it's faster and I really don't have a lot of time as when y'all see how much I finished this week y'all are just gonna about fall over because uh, my body's about to fall over from all of everything I've done um, so I have to be fast in order to have stuff to show you guys and you can see I'm not railroading that was somebody else's question <laughs> yeah so I'm not railroading because the colors are dark and I really um, this is more I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> some days I feel like it, some days I don't. What's that song when you're little? Some days you feel like it, sometimes you don't. Maybe that's a cereal commercial from the 80s, because I'm, <laughs> it is, it's, y'all are too young. Sometimes you feel like it, sometimes you don't. It's like a Frosted Flakes commercial or something. That sounds great. Yeah. Um, and then just two kind of quick shout outs here. Priscilla and Chelsea said, two over two, stitching in hand, superstar, and they put three little stars. Oh, thanks. I learned it from them. So if y'all want to know how I came up with stitching in hand, I didn't even know that that was a thing until I met Priscilla and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Lori Holt says, it's looking beautiful, Kimberly, and then she put a little tree emoji. Aw, little trees. Okay. And then uh, several people are asking, are you stitching over one or two? Two. And so I'm stitching over two. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mendy Russell says, my threads end up uneven, so my stitches don't lay nicely. Any suggestions? You could railroad if you wanted to, and then um, I would say one thing is I would unthread. I would unthread my thread, put your needle in between the threads, kind of keep them, sh just get them straight, and then rethread and kind of get it, pull it, not taut, but just get it really nice, and then I would... I've got marker on my finger, guys. <laughs> it's called proof in a book. Got highlighter on me. Um, you can put your needle through that thread. It's called the railroad method. You could do that. And if you just kind of unthread and rethread every now and then, it'll look nice. Um, I'm getting an overwhelming amount of comments that uh, say the song you're thinking about is from an All Enjoy commercial, and it goes. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. That's I'll enjoy. Right. That's right. I'm a nut. <laughs> it's a song from the 80s, right? It's commercial. Sometimes you feel like it, sometimes you don't. I don't oh know. There's, there's so many people that comment about that. That's great. I know. Y'all are young. Okay, so I'm going to do a flower. So I'm going to try not to show you guys the, guys the pattern. So I'm going to get my fabric. I'm going to get my thread and do a little flower. Um, but basically the way that I travel is I just go across and I just go across as I feel and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to maybe do like an outline of the pink over here. I'm going to send it to do a tiny bit over here and a tiny bit over here because you can see how we don't have that much this week but in the next week we're going to be having a lot and I don't want to get overwhelmed so I'm going to cheat a little bit. 
Um, I have baseball tryouts this weekend, so. Trying out for baseball? I'm not, but my son <laughs> is. So, so Christopher's trying out for baseball, and it's funny because now they're old enough to where they can actually decide, and we had them do baseball for years and years, and Will and Peyton, we thought they'd eventually like it, and they hate it. So now we're kind of like decided, Kevin and I have decided that, you know, they're old enough, they can make their own decisions on sports because obviously it's their thing. And um, so it was so funny, we asked them. And Christopher said, I'm gonna do it all. Sign me up, sign me up for everything, anything, I'm gonna do it all. And his brothers were like, we're not doing any of this. <laughs> so I guess they're gonna have to go to baseball tryouts and just watch their brother. Let's see, we do have more questions, okay. From Camille Levy, Sarah Bowl, uh, they say, what's the difference between Donna and Monaco? Um, would somebody in the comments like Lori or Priscilla please <laughs> answer? Because I don't know. I know that um, I know that Lugana is softer than Monaco, and that is, and I know that they're both even weave, and that is the only thing that I know. There might be something else. So if somebody could answer, I would really, really. Um, appreciate it so I can give them accurate answers. Okay. Um, and then around the same lines, uh, Candy Fur says, is there a difference between even weave and the Lugana? So Lugana is a type of even weave. Even weave just means that the number of threads on the cloth that go this, the, the width and the length of the threads that are going this way that make the cloth are the same this way as they are this way. So this is even. Can you see that? Yes. I'm going to show you one that's not even. This is not even. So on this one, this is linen. And you can see that it's not as even. It's more of a rustic look. The threads are a little bit thinner. Like, I'm talking about the threads that do it. So when you look at her stitches... Can you hold it a little higher? Sorry, I can't see that. There you go. There you go. So, um... So it's just a different look. And I think that linen is a little bit thinner cloth. But even weave is just, a, I guess, a type. So there's several types of even weave. I think Lugana is, is even weave. And then what are the other kind of even weaves, Denise? Do you know? Monaco. Monaco is an even weave. Mm -hmm. But I think Monaco is a little bit stiffer. I'm not an expert on all the cloths. Um, Judy Gibbons in the chat says Monaco is cotton and Lugana is a blend. Is that something right? Okay. And then, okay, Lori Holt says they are both even weave fabric and have different counts. Monaco is cotton, so a little stiffer, and Lugana is a blend, so it's a little softer. And next question is from Cherry Gingham. Uh, overall, is vintage cloth easier to sew with compared to something like Ada? Um, vintage cloth is great for beginners because it is big holes and I am wishing I was stitching on that right now because I can't see. Oh. So yes, um, vintage cloth is a great cloth to start on. And Donna Regal says, when, railroad, when railroading, do you do it on both parts of the X's? I only do it on the top when I do it. So I'm going to do the little star in the center. i got to find my... 760. I'm gonna do my little star. So I'm gonna show you how you can do one single stitch. Um, if you want to just do one single stitch. So I'll do that and then I'm gonna show you some other stuff. I'm gonna show you I have a question and then we have our winner. Mm -hmm. um, Christine Miller says, does railroading take you much longer? I can't get used to it. It does take longer and I think that's why I'm not doing it on this one. This one, I just think when I was doing it, the colors um, were just looking nice and I didn't feel like it needed to be perfect. This is a little bit softer than Ada. So I think on Ada, it's stiffer and you can tell when the stitches are not as perfect and on this, this one, you really can't. Um, and it's kind of like whatever kind of mood I'm in. If I have like a little bit going on, I'll totally railroad. If I have a lot going on, I just do whatever. And you know, I might railroad in this project, I might, um, I just kind of do whatever. Um. And so look, there's a little cute little flower. I've still got to do the little leaves down here. So, 
So on this one, I'm just going to pull this back, and then I think that'll be all the stitching I do today. Um, just to show you a little bit. So that's what I have so far. Hold on. This is what I have so far, and I've just been keeping my needle right in the selvage. And then on this cloth, what I've been doing is folding it in half so that my stitches stay inside, folding it again, and then just kind of rolling it. And that's how I keep it in my bag. So, and it unwrinkles right away. I mean, I never even ironed the stuff, and it, it, was, it's, it stores really nice and doesn't get crinkly because it's nice and soft. So I'm gonna turn around now. So you don't, okay. So one question, first I wanna say a big congratulations to Kathy Crandall Lloyd. She's gonna be our winner for this week. So woo woo! She wins our gift card for, for doing the hashtag. So um, congratulations, we'll send you your gift card today. And I'm gonna show you, I had a question from a listener on how to use Lori Stitch Floss Flowers. So these are her floss flowers. They're really cute. This is how I keep my flowers. And so I'm going to show you how I get prepared. So before I start a project, I just take them and wrap all of them. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I've got a lot of questions on it. Super simple. So I just take off the wrapper. And then I kind of separate like that so that it's kind of even. And then I just kind of unwrap it. And try not to get it knotted. Of course, it's doing great today. Yay, no knots on camera. Sometimes when we do this, it gets a little crazy. But it's doing great today. So I get it all undone. And then I'm going to put my ends together. And I'm going to do this eight times. I'm going to get it get it to where it's eight rows. So I'm just gonna go like this. And it doesn't have to stay perfect. It's just, oh, there we go. So now I've got four. So you can see I've got four rows. I'm gonna do one more. And you can do this however you want. Don't feel like you have to do it this way. So now I've got eight. And I like this length because when I do the loop, it's perfect. So I've got eight strands. I'm gonna cut the ends. and cut the ends. I'm gonna pull one out. I feel like I'm doing a circus trick or something. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wrap this. So what I do is I just put, well I sticker them. I have these little DMC floss numbers and I sticker, put my number on there. And I did that before we started because I mean it's just a sticker. And then I just kind of put my floss flat and then I just wrap on top of that and cover it up. like this and then I take my scissors and tuck in these ends Denise can I see the jar and then I take the one I take one strand and I leave it out and the reason I leave it out the reason I leave it out is so that I can get one strand off and this will be the first one I use so I just kind of leave I kind of just put that on there and then when I'm done I put them like when I'm done with my project I put them in here and so this is what I have left over and then in my cross stitch journal in the very back I have a little thread inventory so everything that is in this jar is on here and then if I put parentheses two or three that means I have a couple so um, I'll just go ahead and put this one in here. That's 535. And I'll write down 535. And then before I start my next project, before I go and buy floss, I'm going to go look, see if I have it, and then pull it out. And then I would erase it off of here. And then when I'm done, so when I'm done, I put them back in there. So that's actually really fun. And then it's also like a cute decoration. I like everything to be cute. Um, I learned that from Lori Holt. Um, because then it's like, it's on your counter, you can like enjoy it, you can, 
I mean, who wants to just put their thread in a little box? So that's what we have for that. So let's, any questions you have, we also have thread sets. The, D, the DMC is currently sold out. Um, the reason it's sold out is DMC is having some distribution distribution issues um, and they are unable to give us a date we have all of the threads except for one so you could always buy them individually or you could go to Michael's and get them but we do have plenty of RF floss sets so I wanted to let you know that so I'm going to answer any questions before I go on uh, the first thing I want to address oh. uh, is I do apologize to everyone there's a tiny smudge on the side of the camera. Um, it is actually on the sensor of the camera. It got trapped in there when I was moving it around earlier. So I apologize. I see it guys. I just can't remove it right now. Um, okay. And then a uh, question from Anne-Marie Makowski. What color floss were the purple flowers you just showed on that, the one you're holding? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ones that my employees are doing. This one is by Shelby. So these are all Happy Camper versions. So I'm going to show you this. This is Shelby's version. She is stitching on Portobello Linen 30 count. She's using DMC's 3609 and 3607. Are the, she changed those for the pinks. 912 for the darker green and 164 for lighter green. And for brown, she used 3862. And I like it because you can really see that linen texture. So there's that. The next one up is Cheryl's. So Cheryl got a little bit ahead. She's already finished with wheat too. She's stitching on beautiful beige, 28 count linen. And she's using ribbon red, ladybug, strawberry parfait, roasted chestnut, perfect pie crust, honeycomb, four leaf clover, spinach, really tealy, ocean from Weeks Dye Works, cauldron, and Plymouth Rock. So if I said the color and didn't say a color company, that means it is classic color works. So she loves to use Fancy floss. So this is Cheryl's. And then we have a brand new stitcher. She's using this Core Yoder DMC thread pack that we've had for a while. And this is Cody's. She's using a Q snap. So you can see how beautiful hers is. And she this is literally her first cross stitch since she was a little kid. So look at her go. And she doesn't railroad. Um, she told me she tried it and she thought that was silly and she didn't do it. So <laughs> she is using the whitewashed linen Ada 14, count. Ada 14 count, which we have a lot of, but we're going to sell out once you see what, um, what I show you in a little bit. And then this is Denise's. Oh. So she's stitching on Lori's 25 count Lugana, but she's doing the non-model side. And she's using 703 and 702 as the greens. And what I want to do is show you the, okay. I want to show you the non-modeled side versus the modeled side. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff here, okay. This little camera's getting on the camera's getting on my nerves because I still am not used to it after all these weeks um, of which way to go. So let me see. So I'm gonna talk back to that camera. Yeah. I'm, okay. So it's reverse. Okay. Can you zoom out a little bit? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. okay. So this one right here is mine, and this is the modeled side of the 25 count. And over here is the other side, which is the non-modeled side. And you can see how different they look, and it's the same fabric. So I think that's totally awesome that you can get two looks from one thing. So there's our Happy Camper stuff. Okay, so I'm going to answer any questions about Happy Camper, and then we're going to move on to our next thing. Okay. Um... 
this was just one of my favorite comments. Uh, Jill Drulard says, just have to let you know that we have a grand dog who is part Boston Terrier and part Pug. It's called a Bug, with two Gs. Oh, uh, that's cute. And his name's Doug. Doug the Bug. Oh my gosh. I just thought that was great. <laughs> like Doug the Bug. Cindy Stevenson says, uh, the classic color works neutral groups threads are not on the website. Will they be available again? So those are basically classic color works is in the process of moving and she let us know that they are having some distribution issues and she will not be able to refill those for quite a while because of they're moving and so they got to get dying so once they get them back available I'm happy to buy them from her she just cannot fill the orders right now Gwen Smith says what are those little yellow scissors you're using and do you sell them yes they're omni grid they're omni grid just type omni grid scissors they're the only scissors I use um, I they're expensive I'm gonna be honest they're the only scissors I use and I literally have 20 of them like everywhere they're all over my bedroom my living room my everywhere they're all over Lily's like over here going yes <laughs> they're, in the room everywhere. they're everywhere um, this is because the only scissors that I use and um, you know I feel guilty telling you because they're really expensive but they could um, so like when when I tell my kids oh I need some scissors they're like yes ma'am boom scissors so I'm surprised they don't like hijack them for toy money or something. Uh, Cindy Stevenson says, can the hands-on design pattern for put on your hat, short stack, and flapjack the Halloween set? Uh, All right, so maybe you want us to order those? Maybe, I think so. Okay, so Denise will do that today. We can order that from her today. And we'll then, look it up and see what it is. Candy Kerr says, do you get lint with the sewing method? I'm using DMC mm -hmm. and it has lint. No, I don't. I get dog hair. <laughs> Um, I don't, yeah, I don't get anything different. Um, I don't know what that would be. I don't know. Um, and then just once again, shouting out Kathy Lloyd. She said, thank you so much for the gift card. You guys are the best. I already spent it and more. Oh my goodness. Do you have like 20 minutes? He already <laughs> spent it. <laughs> Go Kathy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was fast. Uh, Sheena Hirsch. Hershey says, uh, can you explain the railroading method better? I'm not understanding how that works. I can do it more next week. I've done it several times on previous, uh, but basically you split your threads. And we have a video if we you go to video. if you go to the YouTube floss tube. Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> if you go to the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube floss tube, I'm just kidding. Fat Quarter Shop floss tube channel. Just search railroading and um, very up close uh, videos that, that Lily did for me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sharon Shergold says, doesn't it drive you crazy that the thread is not stored numerically and other people are asking the same thing? No. Uh-uh. Because I'll show you my bags. Hold on. These are my bags. Y'all want to see my bags today? <laughs> my bags are a little bit different because, um, no. This is my bag of Happy Camper, which I've already dumped on the table. These are all my bags I'm working on. Okay, this is just my bag of, I might not have all my bags of tricks here today. No, no, I don't have anything because I'm kind of in the middle. But no, these are, I just keep them in these bags. I just throw it in there. No, it doesn't because um, I can't really be organized within my bags because I literally, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Last night, Emma has hip hop and they had a parent meeting. So um, the parent meeting was at 8.15 and then at the end, the teacher's like, well, we got to still have time. So we're going to start doing, and they started doing hip hop. And all the parents were like, I was such a bad parent. They were like sitting there watching their kid. I like whipped out my stitch in and I was just like, boop, 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 boop. and I wasn't even watching. I was like, I know mom will take a video and then I watched it this morning. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've seen her dance a million times. I already know what she can do. And they were doing like popping and locking. So she was just honestly in there cracking up because she can't do it. Oh. So she was kind of like, I don't know. I mean, she was, she was giving it her best, but popping and locking's not, not Emma Jolly saying. Don't good. watch Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Java Girl Stitches, great name. Uh, how many strands do you use with Aurifil Floss? Uh, I, I use two or three. I usually go up one strand because it's a little bit thinner. Okay. And from April Jackson, what has been your favorite thing to stitch? Um, this is a multi-part one. Um, okay. So let's start with it. What's been your favorite thing to stitch? Okay, I really like my Be Thankful that I made because I was just getting back into cross stitch and um, Denise and I colored it. So I really liked it because it was big stitches. I could see it and it's in the front of my house. So I see it every morning 
every night. Um, and I just love that I have something on the wall that's, you know, people can see when they walk in. So I would say for this year, it would be that. And I think it was because we got to pick the colors and I was kind of just getting back into it. And I like how it came out. Okay, and then the other part uh, was any chance that Charity Cross, which will be revealed before next week, inquiring minds want to know. No, because um, it's not perfect yet. We're struggling on the colors. So we keep going back and forth. Denise and I are going to finalize it today. It had, there's, we got all the colors, but there's two blues, and I'm just not loving them. And so we were thinking maybe we'll throw in a navy. Um, I am going to start stitching it, though. We have, but yes, it is me being OCD, if you want to know the truth. Um, I'm holding it back, but the reason why is I want it to be perfect. Like, we need to raise money for Make-A-Wish tonight. I'm getting to grant, well, I, us, we are getting to grant a wish tonight. Um, super excited. So next week I can tell you about the wish that we're able to grant. I don't know anything yet. Um, my kids are able to come, so that's really good because I like them to understand charity and not just doing the food bank, but like trying to give back and all the things so that when they get older, they can hopefully become good citizens. Um, so it's just not ready because it's not perfect. Um, but it is going to be when it, we just, we're kind of stuck on this one little thing and I just am not really, I need to raise $10,000 from just the cross stitch. It's got to be perfect. So kind of when, when there's something that I really need to raise money, I mean, it's got to be perfect. It can't be off. And we're just struggling with this blue. Um, and then people are asking for a confetti cannon for Make-A-Wish. Yay! Yay! Confetti cannon for that. Okay. Uh, next question. Um, Beverly Boy says, do they come with a cover? And this was when you were showing... I'm not sure if it was oh. when you were showing the floss flowers or, or that. Okay, so I think she's talking about this. Oh, the, yes. Thank you. Okay, so this is called a Q-Snap. I'm going to take it apart because I know Cody won't mind. I'll put it back, Cody. I know she's watching. Okay, so they have little things. And so it's just basically like a PVC pipe, and then you put it back on. You can buy covers. They're called Grime Guards. Grime guards. Thank you. And um, we don't sell them. Uh, but you can find them on Etsy. A lot of um, home, home, home-based businesses make them, and they can be very cute. Um, but we don't sell them. But you can get them. They're called grind guards. So I hope that's the answer to your question. And then I'm going to take like two more questions before I keep going, so that I, because I ran out of time on the quilting channel. I don't want to run out of time. No, we're we're doing very good on time today. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, oh, uh, just Jill Driller says. Uh, thought you would like that, Kimberly, about Doug the bug. Uh, yes. And Doug says hi to Piggy. Um, Anne Marie Mikowski says, love your quilted bag. Okay, so the quilted bag is a gift from Minky Kim. And um, I, don't get, I don't get gifts often. Um, and I got this gift. And let me tell you, this is my coveted gift. Last night when I went to my dance meeting, they didn't have chairs. And they didn't have anywhere to sit. Let me tell you, I was sitting. It was sitting right here. I'm like, this is not going on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. I was, it was sitting right there. Yeah, the whole time. And they're kind of, those moms are, they're super, uh, they're super like, got it together and like all makeup and beautiful and I'm just like with my quilted bag like <laughs> don't touch my quilted bag. Okay. Yeah but but you know I'm really liking it this year because it's our second year at the studio and I actually know the people's names and so I'm like yay I've got it together and Emma even said last night you're kind of getting it together and I was like yeah I'm not really good with names. Okay um Shelly Phillips Edwards says the constant live stream question where is Kimberly's shirt from it looks comfy. It is from Talbot's. Yeah, I mostly shop at Talbot's because I have long tar torso, long torso, very long legs. So I get my, the only place I go shopping physically, me, is Talbot's. Other than that, I get a box from Trunk Club, right? Yeah, Nordstrom's It's Nordstrom's Trunk, Trunk Club, and then you can send back what you don't want, and you can, like, really talk. I did Stitch Fix for a while, but um, they didn't, like... I don't know, they didn't understand my style, so I just told the lady, and like, I want a necklace this month. So I was like, okay, I have these earrings, you can send pictures. Um, I'm not much of a shopper. Um, I don't really like to shop. Um, but yes, and I will tell you that if I didn't have this live stream, I'd be wearing a t-shirt today. Um, I don't really dress up. That's great. 
Okay, uh, last question here, and then we can get the rest of the questions afterwards. Uh, Dean McGee says, I'm new to cross stitch, I've done several small projects, however, I'm now doing a larger piece and having trouble finding larger cuts of Adia. Ada. Um, where do you find those or Ada by the yard? I've looked all over the internet, and it seems most places have the usual 15 by 18. So we have some 15 by 18. We have a couple that are in one yard pieces, and we're going to start adding the one yard pieces as we go. They're very expensive. Um, so I'm just kind of adding them as we can. Um, also, some people think maybe when the person was asking about the cover, they meant a cover for the scissors. Oh, haha. -ha. Sure. Yeah, for the scissors, I don't have covers. Um, what what Lori has and uses and is coming out with are these little cover point tip protectors. Point tip protectors, and you can put them in. I don't do that and let me tell you I do get stuck in the car like when I'm going to the car it's like scissors poking me I, yeah but you can put them but I don't use any okay so I'm gonna go on so I'm super excited um, Lily's gonna pop up a picture and I'm gonna move this because it's in my way so Lord so um we have a brand new we have harvest chalk full it's by hands on design Kathy Haberman and the artist is Priscilla Blaine and we have a club called Chalkful. The first one that went out was the Sunflowers. And this is going to be going out in one to two weeks. The second we get the pattern, we're going to package it up and ship it out. What you're going to get if you're in our Chalkful club is 14 count chalkboard black Ada, the floss, and you can see the pricing on our website. And okay, so this right here, this picture is Priscilla's finishing. So it comes with two designs. On the left, you can see the little pumpkins, and they're in a little boo mason jar. And on the right, it's like a little, a smaller design. So you get both of those in the chart. And then the next picture is going to be Kathy's finishing. So you can see that Kathy used a slightly different cloth. And she finished the little small design slightly different. So you can see there's two different ways to finish it. And now I'm going to show you kind of the colors. So this is the cloth you would get in our club. It's 14 count chalkboard black. You would have enough to make both designs. And the floss is Dublin Bay, Lunar Eclipse, Pumpkin Harvest, Pea Pod, and Chalk. And we also have Zappy Dots. There are two little needle minders. There's a Boo and another Boo. And these are the little pin minis that are cute. So this is, if you're in our Chalkful Club, that's what you can look forward to, and I'm super excited about that, and I love the design and the little pumpkin. So I gotta get it, I gotta, I gotta start it the second that, so I've already told them in the warehouse, like, the second that pattern gets here, I want you to bring it to my office, and they're like, okay, why? <laughs> um, so that's super exciting. So I'm gonna start that the second it gets here, because I wanna get it done in time for Halloween. Okay, and then we have another club. So she's going to pop up another image. And this is a new series from Country Cottage Needleworks. And we have two options. We have an Ada option. And if you got the Ada option, that would be 16 count. The linen option is 32 count. You can find the pricing on our website. And I'm going to show you, in one second, I'm going to show you the, do you have the Ada? Why? So we're going to go get the Ada real quick so you can see if you're in the Ada club. So here is the linen. If you're in, if you join the linen club, this is what you will get. So you can see the actual color and the flosses. And you can buy the linen on our site if you're not in the club. I'm going to show you the Ada. The Ada is not available for purchase online. It's only available in the club for right now because we have so many people in our club that we have to save it for our club but I want you to see the colors and what you would get is in the first month you would get all of the floss and the first pattern so that's how it looks on the linen and then I'm going to show you how it looks on the Ada so if you sign up for the Ada and then I'm going to show you next to each other so you can see the difference and choose what would be best for you so this is how the Ada looks. Now I'm going to be stitching on Ada. So there's that. 
So you've got those options. Now, if you want to buy the Ada online, you can't get it until a couple weeks. Now, here you can see the difference in the color. This right, sorry, this right here is Ada, and this is Linen. They're both called Country French Rain. Country French Rain. I tried to memorize that this morning and didn't get it down. Um, but you can see there's a shade difference. But they both look great. I'm going to be doing the Ada, of course. So we would love for you to sign up. And also, I'm going to just flash this for you real quick. In your club, you can get a diagram. Do you want to zoom out? Yeah. If you join our club, we do have a diagram that is going to show you if you want to make in each individual piece by itself so that you can take your Ada or your linen and cut it up in the beginning or you could just stitch them all separate and then cut apart later. And then if you want to make it as one big piece on the Country Cottage Needleworks website and on our website, we're going to have a link of the spacing differences. So we'll have everything you need. And the only way you can get that cutting diagram from us is if you sign up for the club. So we've got that. So I would love to answer questions on that because I still have more to show you. Okay. We have questions on the snow village at the moment. Okay. Um, if you have just questions from before, I don't know yeah. if you want to answer those. Yeah. Okay. Let me turn my mic on. Um, Norma Scott says, can you do Fabric Club in 16 count? Not yet. Um, we can do that maybe in the future, but right now we're just doing 14 count. But we do sell the 16 count. And Katrina E says, when will the new Lori Holt stitch cards come out? Soon. They went to the printer on Monday, I think. So we put them on the Coming Soon page. If you go to our Coming Soon page, it is Stitch Card Set B. And we're going to be doing something fun with those. Um, Lori and I have a little trick up our sleeve, um, but I can't tell you. And don't ask, because then I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't want to slip up. Uh, Christina Hansen says, hello from Sweden. How many strands do you use on a 11 count Ada? Four to six. Okay, so another thing that we did or I did. I'm so excited. Y'all are going to love this. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day to show you this. Okay, so remember in the summer, no, in Mania, I made this. So this is that 14 count. This is the same thing. It's this 14 count whitewashed board. So I had made this, but when you get it, you get a big piece. And so I needed to use it. And so... I'm all about changing things and doing, making things your own. So, last week I showed you this. So this is the pattern. This is called Heart and Home by Needle Bling Designs. This is the one that I made this summer. And I, of course, changed it. So I took, I just did the word home. And Priscilla, shout out to Priscilla for finishing that for me. And then this pattern came out last week, brand new pattern, Cottage on the Corner by Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs. And she is a quilt designer, so this design is taken from one of her quilts. And she gives you instructions in the pattern how to finish it into this little quilt. But I thought, I'm going to do something with that, it's so cute, so look what I did! Oh my gosh, look, you're going to love it. Okay, check that out, that's like the cutest thing I ever made in my whole life. <laughs> It took me 11 hours. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now what's going to happen is Lily's going to pop up my color changes because um, I'll read them out, but um, the color changes so that you can see what I did. So that, if you wanted to print that out, you could, um, oh, I didn't put my end date. I'll have to fill that in. So that basically is going to tell you the colors I use on the left under floss, the symbol that goes with it. It took me 11 hours, and then I have a couple changes, but I can't read it. So um, if you want to make it like mine, you can do that. We're also going to have kits. Um, we're waiting on the floss. Of course, like I said, DMC is having issues fulfilling. And um, I'm going to turn this into something super cute. So there's one of my finishes. As if that wasn't enough. I have Frosty Flakes. No, he's a flake. It's a little flaky flake. He's so cute. So this is one of my Jolly July finishes. So I'm actually almost done with Jolly July. So here's the here's flake. Angels we have heard on high. So cute. 
Look at those little angels. And then the stockings were hung. And then frosty flakes. I gotta finish this weekend. Cute, right? So jolly July. And then I had an hour in a parking lot. And I had this in the back of my car. And so this is one of my mania. And I got the little sheet body finished. So I know it's I know it's small, but I gotta take credit for everything I do. So I've got that. And I've got a couple other finishes. This is a finish that Cheryl did. So she used, oh my gosh, this fabric flare is amazing. She used this fabric flare, historic beige, 32 count. Now what fabric flare is, is it didn't really make sense when we first got it, but it's basically a fabric that they screen print. So one side is white and one side is screen printed. And she put that with the Sunflower Sampler by Heart and Hand. And it is precious. Look at that. And so this right here is a button. That little piece is a button. And the rest are not buttons. And I'll tell you what she did. She did, okay, she says the linen and button are included in the pattern, but she wanted it on lighter fabric, so she used that 32 count historic beige. But she used the called four colors. So that's what we have for finishes. And then I've got some new stuff. So we have had some requests for green fabric that would work great with with thy needle and thread some of her Halloween prints. So we've got 32 count and 18 count. It's tropical green. And again, you can see this is the linen and this is the Ada. And you can kind of see there is gonna be a slight color difference, but in the end, it's all gonna look great. So we got those, cause we got some requests. And then that would go, for example, with this pattern, holiday hoopla. And I'm going to show you some other new patterns we got. So we got Who's There? It's, these are older prairie schoolers. And we're just going to flip through. This is 2006 Santa, 2010 Santa, 2013, 2007. So that's a good year. Emma was born that year. 2008. 2011, 2012, and this is cute. Knock, knock, this is the one that I like the best. And then we've got, these are two, these are gonna be on thicker paper, these are gonna be on thinner. This is limited edition, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. I like this one. This is a good year. Will and Peyton were born then. 2011. 2005. 2001. 1998. I don't even know. Lily, were you born in 98? Yes, I was. She was born in 98. I was born in 94. 94. Oh my goodness. She's so young. She graduated. She was born two years after I got out of high school. Okay, so I've got some more patterns. This is really cute. Prairie Schooler. Christmas Alphabet. All Hollows Eve. And we're going to be showing some of these that are already stitched up. Um, Cheryl has made some of these in the last, um, you know, she made them when they came out. So we're going to be showing those in future live streams. Santa Revisited. So this is, and they, the ones that are this, they take three years. So this is 1990, 1994, and 2005. So they kind of mix them. And so this is a different one. Santa's Revisited 2. And these are kind of nice because you get three. Santa's Revisited 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm doing good, guys. Nothing has fallen yet. It's coming, though. I can feel it. 7 <laughs> Old World Santas. So that one you get 8. I'm going to pull these down so I don't drop any. Old World Santas too. So I'm just, I'm just gonna start flipping because oh my goodness. But this is cute. I mean, that's really cute. Reindeer Roundup. 
And then this one is a slightly different style for them. It's got more blue and it's religious. It's really pretty. Winter Wind. St. Nicholas. Woodland Santas. This is 12 Days of Christmas. And then there's like 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. We have all of them. This is 2 by 2, so like Noah's Ark theme. 2 by 2, 2. Old McDonald. Okay, tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. That is cute. My kids would love that. Stars and Stripes. Village Sampler. Prairie Seasons. Oh, look at that. Witching Hour. Trick or Treat. Nevermore. All Hallows Eve. And then here it goes back to the Santa's 12 Days. This is the first set. And then Happy Christmas. So that's what we have new. And then the only other thing that I just wanted to remind you guys is if you're just a cross stitcher and you found my floss tube, great. Love it. Um, we're also a quilting channel. So we have another channel. It's called Fat Quarter Shop. And we have a free beginner quilt series. And so this is our quilt. And so just to remind you, a new block came out this week. So can you point to the one that came out? Is it this one? Uh, it, wait. The, this one. The, wait, where's my finger? This was last week's. The, this is this week. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. So, um, you know, if you want to learn how to quilt, totally free video. Free pattern. Yeah, oh yes, free video, free pattern. Free tips. Yes. Yeah, free tips. Oh, free. Yes, free, 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 free for everything. I'm going to be Oprah today, except I can't give you a free car. <laughs> um, so yeah, any questions? Oh, I have some shout outs. Let's not finish the shout outs. I picked some shout outs. So I love this bag. I love her colors. It's pink, green. So that is an eat, sleep, stitch, repeat pattern by Lori Holt. This is the pattern. So like, see, she took the pattern and then she used our video. We have a little video that shows you how you turn it into a bag. This is my bag. And so look, she did her version. It looks totally awesome. So shout out to Chris. And then let's see the next one. Oh, I did this one because look at the little dog. I can't read that. Can you read it? Uh, yeah, it says, hang on, let me turn My on. eyesight is so bad. Uh, it's from Wendy Hansen, and she says, Gus is sharing his slash our progress today on so long. Hashtag happy camper cross stitch from Fat Quarter Shop. I love her little doggy. Yeah. Okay, and then... Look at that. Okay, guys. That is from Jane Bromley. And um, we are always encouraged to try new things, so I decided to stitch Lori Holt's Eat Sleep Stitch Pattern on a denim shirt using waist canvas. Changed the colors to my favorites, red and blue. Took me longer stitching on Ada, but had fun stitching it. Thanks, Kimberly Jolly, for your encouragement and everything you do for the group. So she posted that in our Facebook group, and I love that. And if you want to know how to do that, if you go to Satsuma Street's YouTube channel, she has a video on how she puts waste canvas on stuff and how you can stitch over it. So if you would like some some tips on that, that would be where I would look. Mm -hmm. okay. Questions? We got lots. Okay. Oh man, sorry. On the okay. button there, guys. Uh, Wendy in the ATX says, what are your favorite podcasts to listen to when you stitch? Okay, so I have so many podcasts. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a new one. I really like a guy. He does this video. He, okay. His name is Drama, Chris Drama, and he was a skateboarder, skateboarder, I'm always about people's stories. He was a skateboarder, he injured himself, he started a merchandising, what do you call that when you make t-shirts? It's like a merchandising company, yeah. and he does a podcast once a week, it's called Short Story Long, and he takes people, and he interviews them, and it's just different people. It could be, it could be Shaq, it could be Kyrie Irving. It could be a random person who has an Etsy and she just is selling um, art on her Etsy. You know, it could just be anybody. It can be somebody like 
you know, that you've heard of, somebody you've never heard of, somebody who's like a motivational speaker. I really like him because he brings different people with different viewpoints and you can hear about people, how they started, how they're inspired, how they love their work. It's about positivity. I listen to like literally a hundred others. I'll give you four. So short story long, Generation Y, it's true crime. Might not like it. Don't usually agree with them, but I like them. Um, true crime all the time. It's Mike and Gibby. They're very funny. I listen to Nancy Grace. Um, crime stories with Nancy Grace. I love Nancy Grace. I know she's controversial too, but I love her. Um, and right now, my fifth for this week will be Mine Hunter too. Came out. I have almost finished it. It is. This one is way better than Mine Hunter one. But man, it's disturbing. It's a mental. Um, I had to stop last night. I was like, I can't. I can't take it anymore. So I gotta. I gotta watch the last three. It's great. Um, great music. Great videography. I don't even know like. I don't really know that much about that, but I know that that was done really well. Whoever did that, it's amazing. Okay. Um, and then Terry Lane's asking, when will Snow Village ship? As soon as patterns arrive. As soon as patterns arrive, which late will September. be late September. And so basically the way we're running our club is when it comes, we're going to package it up, ship it right out. So we've already cut up all of our ADA and our linen and all that. So we're going to be ready to go. So when that pattern hits, we just, and we'll have all the floss, we're just going to ship it right back out. Uh, Karen Mullally says, if I join the Chalk Full Club late, will I get the pattern I have already missed? So if you would like that kit, you can put a note and say, please send me Harvest Chalk Full as a club member and we will add it. If you don't add that note, we're not we're not going to ship it to you probably until you get boo. So totally up to you what you want to do. Uh, Terry Lane says, any possibility of getting a red lemon fabric? We have a red Ada, right? Mm -hmm. We'll look and, and if we can get it, we'll get it. What size are you looking for? Probably 28? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Kayleen Rich says, uh, does that have holes like A to 14? Uh, she might have been asking about the uh, waist. Thank you. The A to 16 that she showed. Yes. The A to 16? Mm -hmm. Does it have holes like A to 14? Okay, so A to 16 is 16 holes per inch. A to 14 is 14 holes per inch. So that's similar, it's just smaller. And I've never stitched on 16 count, so I'm going to be stitching. I'm going to do the Snow Village on 16 count, and I'm going to do the whole thing. So I'll be stitching along with you, and I'll talk to you about magnifiers and those kind of things. And if you're, if you're asking about waist canvas holes, if it has the same thing, waist canvas is much bigger. You glue it down, or you, not glue it, like it sticks down, right? You somehow stick it down. That's why I'm saying watch Satsuma Street, because I've never done it, and I don't want to give you advice that's wrong. But what, what I think you do is you put it down, it's got holes like Ada, you stitch, at the end, you pull the strands out, like you pull the strands out, but she's got a great tips on it, she uses some tweezers, um, she shows you in detail how to do it, and she's a great designer, she has great stuff, and she just started her YouTube channel recently, um, and she's just beautiful to look at, she's like amazingly beautiful, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need some style tips, <laughs> her hair is beautiful. Um, Sharon Shurgle says, uh, oops, with 14 count Ada, is there a chart that gives sizes once we change the thread count? Thought I could use it as an ornament, but clearly way too big. And then she put the little, like, face palm emoji. So, okay. is there a chart that kind of helps you out with thread counts to know how big it's going to be, I think is the question. Okay, so what you would do is you would take your stitch count. Let's say your stitch count is 100 by 100. If you take 100 divided by 14... That is going to be your size. So if you take 100 divided by 14, that is 7.14. If it's 16 count, you would take 100 divided by 16, and it would be 6.25. 6 so you just take your stitch count and divide it by, and then that's how you know your size. And you could always, kind of like what I did last week, is you could take a white piece of paper, just a printer paper, and you could just draw your measurements, cut it out, and then you can look at it and say, okay, is this big? Is this too big? Is this too small? My ornaments are all going to be huge. Okay. 
Um, Mary Lou Kleiner says, what size needle did you use when you were stitching on the Happy Camper piece on the video today? Pat Carson, size 26. Um, and last comment here, it was just another cute comment. Stephanie Metz said, I have a pug named Spud. And then she put Aww. a little Spud emoji. And that was just Aww. such a great name for a dog, is Spud, I think. Aww. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope that something I have brought to you today might inspire you, might help you with your stitching. Um, I love seeing all of your stitching online. Um, and join me next week. And have a great week and a great weekend.